What's cooking y'all? Welcome back to my kitchen. It's Chef Alan here you guys and you guys It's one of our first videos back from the new year. So happy new year you guys. We have a lot of great things The oven's ready. We're making beef ribs today you guys We have a lot of great things coming this year and I want to start off by thanking my friend Jaden Milton, thank you so much dog. Um, he got me this apron for Christmas you guys and it's my first time using it and this recipe is dedicated to him because we're making big moves so thank you Jaden and we're gonna get right into the recipe and today is gonna be very simple you guys listen we just have ribs we're gonna throw them in the oven after that we're gonna baste it with some barbecue sauce maybe a little spicy barbecue sauce if you guys like and throw it on the grill and it's gonna be done um, the total cook time for this is about an hour hour and a half but you guys I promise you these are gonna be so savory and they're just gonna melt in your mouth. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Um, basically, just beef ribs on the rack is what I have right here. And we have to start off by taking out the membrane that's underneath here. So look, there is this big layer and you just gotta work with it. And you gotta pull this off because you don't want your beef ribs to be chewy right so just work with that right there and just pull it off you guys just like this perfect okay and then once you get a good amount done you can really rip through it with your fingers you guys are gonna want gloves for this. And there it goes, perfect. Just gonna come off by itself once you guys get it going. All right, hold this down and pull. Y'all see that? And y'all ever, if y'all have ever had beef ribs and they were, they were chewy, it's because of this membrane right here. This piece of skin is a no-no so we're gonna throw that away perfect and you still have a little fat over here and there's another piece of membrane right there that's holding everything together I already rinsed my ribs you guys because there was a little specks of blood on it and this is what we're gonna do it's gonna be really simple you guys we just want to add a little oil to it olive oil and we're gonna season it after because when you season anything with salt it brings out the moisture and we want all the juice in here so we're gonna season it after it's not gonna look the greatest you guys when it comes out of the oven but I promise you when we baste it it's gonna look amazing so we're gonna cover this with perfect amount of foil right here and it's on a cooling rack so it could cook all the way around perfect and we've preheated our oven to 350, y'all. Um, it's gonna cook for about an hour because it's also gonna continue to cook on the grill, you guys. And that's it, we're just gonna throw it in the oven. It's gonna cook on 350 for about an hour, like I said before, and you guys, I can't wait. So let me pop that in there and we'll be back when it's done. Hour later. After one long hour of waiting, we are ready. But we are going to make a sauce first. And that sauce is going to be, I might need a bigger bowl. Let me get a bigger bowl. One second. That sauce is going to comprise, comprise, is that the correct word? We're stepping it up. Barbecue sauce, the sauce is the boss. Perfect, right there. And we like it a little hot with a little kick. So a little spicy, right? I'm gonna take my whisk and just whisk that up. Perfect. Nice little concoction. Ooh, smells spicy. Yeah. Perfect, nice little kick to it, you guys, and still has that smoky barbecue flavor, and we're gonna just La slather or lather? Slather, no. La lather. 
we're gonna lather that on the ribs. So let me let me grab them out the oven, you guys, and I'll be back. The ribs are here, and they are done, you guys. Here we go. Away from you because of all the steam. Ooh. I know, I know. They look very bland, right? But here's what we're gonna do. You see how the meat is already pulling off the bone? When we put the sauce on you guys, just, it's gonna, it's gonna make it way better. Oops. Perfect, you guys. It's not overcooked. It may look overcooked, it may look undercooked, however you guys do it, depending on the oven. But I promise you guys, this is perfect right here. Now, I have my grill heating up. Um, you can heat it up to really about 350, 400, somewhere around there. We just wanna get the sauce on there and thicken it up. So we're gonna go outside to the grill, you guys, and then we're gonna put the sauce on there. So let's head over there, you guys. Alrighty. Boys, our grill is actually at about 500 degrees and we're gonna just put some non-stick spray on it real quick. Perfect. And then we're gonna take our ribs and char them real quick, okay? Watch this. Perfect. Now we're not gonna move it around too much because we want nice chars on there. But um, after that's charred, we're gonna flip it, get the same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna get a brush and just lather all of our barbecue sauce on top of it and then cut it up and serve it, you guys. This, I actually taught myself this just playing around in the kitchen. Um, we don't really eat a lot of ribs, but when we do, you know, it's like a once in a, well, like a once a month type of thing, so. I mean, everybody looks forward to it, so let's see. It's charring up real nice, you guys. Look at this. Oops, it's a little heavy, but uh, look at this. This is exactly what we want all throughout, so just keep it like that and let it do its thing, you guys. Amazing this right here, you guys. The fat is just dripping down on top of the grill, and that's why we get that extra fire right there. It's perfect for the char. Ooh. Alrighty, y'all, so let's turn down the grill. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this onto our cooling rack. It's time to sauce this bad boy up right here. So just take your brush, and this is pretty simple. You can just put sauce all over it, you guys. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do this all around, you guys. And then I'll get right back to you guys when the barbecue sauce is all over. Okay, the barbecue sauce is all done. I'm just gonna put some fresh salt on here, you guys. Salt to taste at the end, like always, so the moisture won't escape. And a little black pepper for an extra hint of spiciness. Perfect. And I'm gonna throw this bad boy back on the grill, just like this. Now the grill is on low, and we're gonna just let it sit in there for about two minutes each side, just so the sauce can thicken up, you guys. And guess what, after this, it's time to eat. I'm very excited, because I haven't had these ribs in a long time, you guys, but um, yeah, New Year's special. Um, and again, thank you, Jaden, for the cool apron. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna start selling merch, you guys, so. Um, I'm coming up with a few ideas, but I'll, I'll send you guys the ideas through my social media, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube, following my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You guys can poke me on Facebook. You feel me? But uh, we'll be back, you guys. Voila, they are ready, you guys. Check it out. Ooh, that's a heavy rack of ribs. Perfect. Get a close up on that real quick. Woo! You guys, my sister's favorite right here. So let's go ahead and head on inside so I can give this 
bad boy a try right here. I'm personally very, very excited, you guys. We'll see you guys inside. The ribs are ready and let's cut into them. You guys, perfect. Right here. Check this out. Perfect marbling on the ribs, you guys. Right? I mean, look at this. This is amazing right here. Let me cut you guys these three pieces right here. Right. Ooh. Look at that. I mean, who wouldn't want this right here? Oh, amazing. This is perfection right here. Perfection. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try since they're still warm, you guys. And I like my extra dip of barbecue sauce right here. Check this out. This is, this is how you do barbecue. Mm. It literally just melts off the bone. Mm. You guys can just rip the meat off of the bone and just eat it. Woo! This is good. It has a nice little kick from the hot sauce, you guys. And mm. You guys, this is how barbecue should be done. Just give it some time in the oven and it'll really just suck up all the juices and become very tender and just fall off the bone, you guys. And I mean, I hope you guys like this recipe. I know I personally do. If you guys like it spicy, add more hot sauce. If not, don't just do your own thing, you guys. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on ribs because some places rip off, rip you off with ribs. But these ribs right here have a little kickback, a little barbecue for the family on Sunday evening, Sunday um, lunch, and just do this, you guys. You guys, thank you guys for coming. Happy New Year! 2020 is the year, you guys. I'm graduating this year, and I mean, big things are happening, you guys. Again, thank you, Jaden. And we'll see you guys. Thank you guys. Bye.